Hey there, thanks for being here with us at four o'clock and we start this afternoon with a local leader in trouble. Right now, the Center Township Constable remains behind bars after being arrested on Friday. Denise Hatch faces three charges, including carrying a handgun unlawfully, invasion of privacy and misconduct by a public servant. Hatch appeared in court this morning. Our Matthew Foltz was in the courtroom and has the latest now on why she was arrested. This initial hearing for Denise Hatch lasted less than 30 minutes. Her son, as well as a friend, were in the courtroom during that hearing. They tell me that she's a victim of her previous attorney and that she was never told that she couldn't have a firearm while out on bond. Denise was given wrong information from her attorney, whether he wants to admit it or not. Bob Kern is a friend of Hatch and says she's innocent. Hatch was arrested over the weekend by Metro Police the second time in just four months. Metro Police say officers saw Hatch with a gun holstered on her waist, which she was not allowed to have while out on bond for another case still pending. She wasn't around a gun until we went to court the last time, and she was under the impression they lifted it because the attorney had given her wrong information. During her initial hearing on Tuesday, Hatch told the judge she was not guilty. Hatch says she didn't know why she was in court and that she was not given the chance to call her family or an attorney. I spoke with her son Vincent about it. She hasn't been able to call me, my dad, anyone, and we really don't know what's going on. So, yeah, she just did a little wave at the end just because I think she was excited to see her family. Right now, Hatch remains behind bars on a $25,000 bond. However, the state says she cannot be released due to other matters. In the meantime, her son just hopes she's proven innocent. I just want my mom to have a fair hearing. That's all. I just want her to have a fair hearing. Okay. Hatch is due back here in court on Friday for a pretrial hearing that starts at 830. Reporting outside the Marion County Community Justice Campus, I'm Matthew Foltz, 13 News.